It's Miss Carrie, baby. This is Airtel Trace Music Star. A day in the life of Carrie Hilson. I wake up sleep deprived after just a couple hours of sleep. And the day varies. If I'm in the studio, I wake up workout studio. I'm there for maybe 10, 12 hours. It could vary from an eight hour creative meeting to conference calls. At the same time, I'm calling my TV and film agent. It's my lawyer, it's my business manager. And occasionally I'll have a fabulous moment and I'll just want to break all the monotony and steal a moment to go shopping, usually furniture shopping. <laughs> no matter how busy I get, I have to throw some something in there that makes me feel good, something that lights my spirit and inspires my creativity. The moment that I realized that I am a superstar was at the Grammys. First of all, when I looked at who I was up against, it was Kanye West, Jay-Z, Rihanna. I was amongst an amazing <laughs> group. It was the moment when they were calling my category and the cameras rushed to me and I was like, my heart started racing. It was just surreal, it was as, as if I was dreaming. Now I didn't win the Grammy, <laughs> but that moment happened where I felt that I had a chance. It was a realization of my level of stardom, but it was also a turning point for me that I'm not where I wanna be. I gotta get back to that moment. The first thing an artist needs to take the next step into stardom would be, you know, if you check Amazon or eBay, I hear they sell confidence. <laughs> I say that because there's so much rejection. You need that confidence to push through all the adversity because it's gonna come. I mean, no business is above that and you're a business. Once your confidence is secure, I would advise someone to get a manager, get a lawyer, to just fight your battles for you. Once you have the knowledge and you know what it is you want, find someone who can help you accomplish that, making sure that you get everything you need to create and be at your top level. You wanna choose your team very wisely. You want to put people in position who are great at what they are supposed to do. A part of your job as an artist is to delegate responsibilities. Mold your world the way you need it to be so that you can be on the top of your game. And so you wanna choose people that facilitate that, that allow you to stay creative. Stress is like the worst thing for an artist. However, it's uh, knocking at your door every day. You want a team that can alleviate some of that stress. Throughout my career, I've had several mentors. I've learned different things from each of them. My first mentor would have been Marvin McIntyre, and from him I learned all about the stage, artist development. I learned the importance of showmanship. A lot of my songwriting mentorship came under Anthony Dent. Polo, also, as a songwriter, but from him I also learned a fearlessness that you need to be in this industry. Timbaland taught me the importance of surrounding yourself with other creatives. He's every bit of the genius you think that he is. You know, my first experiences on a global scale were through Timbaland. And so I think Timbaland just introduced me to a new level and taught me how to be at that level. Do's and don'ts. Do be professional, on time, eloquent, appropriately dressed, friendly, well-liked, be professional. Do inspire yourself. Do find ways to constantly spark your creativity. Do constantly work on your craft. Don't burn bridges. Don't accept no for an answer. Don't stop seeing it. Don't stop believing it. Don't give up. RTL Trace Music Star Call Sing Win Pour participer, appelle dès maintenant ou connecte-toi sur tracemusicstar.com